Um, coach, you know, after the game, you know, with the Kobe Bryant news and yeah. everything, kind of what what runs through your mind when you hear that, and what you know, how did you handle uh, telling your team after the yeah, game? Yeah, it's really tough. Um, you know, at first it's disbelief, like you don't want to believe it. And you know, when Trey told me, I said, "Is this confirmed? Like, are you sure? Like, this can't be right." And um, you know, obviously, I didn't know him personally, but you grow up watching him and. Uh, he just means so much, not only to the game of basketball, but to the game of women's basketball. I mean, he was a fan. He was at the Final Four. His daughters played. Um, he supported college basketball, WNBA, all levels. And so um, he's, he, he was a champion for us. And I just my heart goes out to his family and, and to everyone because he's, he's someone who I think whether you um, play a sport or not or play basketball, you can identify with who he was as a person. And... Um, how hard he competed every day and he played every game like it was his last, his mentality. And so just, it's, it's, it's tough to hear. And, um, you know, you just take some time to process it. And, and the one thing I can say is, I don't, again, I don't know him, but from everything that I've watched and I've seen, he lived his life to the fullest. And um, I just will be praying for his family and for everyone, because this is a hard one. To, it's a hard one to swallow, but you know, God makes no mistakes. He makes no mistakes. And so um, we just have to trust in his plan and, and pray for his family.